Like, do y'all hear that? Right now, it is intimidating. Good morning, beautiful. Hey, sis. If you're new here, my name is Courtney. Welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button to officially become my sis. And if you are a returning supporter, welcome back, baby girl. You already know the vibes. Yes. So, we got a lot to do today, but I need to go in this closet because I got like 20 minutes before I need to leave the house. Then I'll tell y'all the rundown of what we got planned today. But let me get in this closet because I forgot to do this shit last night and now I don't feel like it because I need to get something so I can finish getting ready. So, let me get in this closet real quick and then um I'll give y'all the rundown on what is today's to-do list, okay? Look at this closet, bro. This is ridiculous. Like, half of our apartment is in here. And it's just like, so much shit. The TV box. Like, so much shit. And I was trying to get into this box down here. Down here, that one. But that's not even the right box. I think the box I need is that one. Sorry, that one. And, um... I can't get that shit right now because I'm going to have to move all of this shit. So, fuck it. I'm going to just have to figure something else out. I was trying to get some Q-tips so that I can clean my nose ring because my nose ring, like, I got a little bump, like, right above it. I don't know. Maybe y'all can see it from the side. It's, like, right on the top of it, right here. I have a little bump and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like get rid of that shit. Like, I was on YouTube, on Google, everything trying to figure out how I can get rid of it. And a lot of people were saying saline water and then a lot of people were saying like tea tree oil and then it was something else that you can buy off of Amazon. Why the would I buy this for $12? Like, get tea tree oil for like a dollar. So, I was trying to clean my nose ring and I hate this ring I got because it looks like a bugger. Alright, but y'all, we gotta go because it's like, we probably got like 15, yeah, we got 15 minutes before we need to leave the house. <sighs> Shit, I can't get my life together today. Yeah, so this is the soap that when I first got my, my nose ring, she told me to get Dow soap, but the store I went to didn't have Dow. It looked like Dow, and it's an antibacterial hand soap, so I got this, and it was working. So I'm gonna just, I need my damn Q-tip, man. Hold on. I'm gonna try and do like this. And then like twist it. And then put a little water on it. I normally use my Q-tip to like use two Q to one to push the nose ring up from the inside and then I clean the top with one of with one of the nose rings. So this is a challenge. I got some saline water. My voice sound like that. Yeah. I'm gonna rinse it. I All right. Lastly, we need to put some tea tree oil on it. Tea tree oil. So I'm gonna twist this thing here up again. It's a different piece of the napkin now. And then I'm going to put a few drops of tea tree oil on it. I can't really tell how much on there because it's clear and it's like. So I don't know how much drops, but I'm going to dilute it with a little bit of water. And then you just 
Grab this on it. Alright. So you can feel like a little tanginess from the tea tree oil on the bump. And I do feel like it's going down, but I don't know if that's just like in my head because I want it gone. But y'all, we got nine minutes, so we got to wrap this shit up. I almost forgot to share my nose ring experience with y'all, so in the next clip, that's what you'll see. Can you hold it with the other hand? Oh, what, this? Your phone. Oh. Ready? Ugh. You okay? Mm-hmm. Close my enemy. Let's go. I need better energy. When I told you, fuck it, you thought I was playing, huh? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, this shit litter. She wanted to buy, but I told her, fuck that. She looked at me like she's surprised. I'm back in the room. I'm on my own. The vice said to know to go for 35. I tried to put up for my partner. They're turning the enemies right before the nigga. I'm curious for a shake. I'm a whole lot of fish. Give a nigga a quarter pound without a problem. I just went double platinum with no pieces just to show a nigga I'm really beat. Last a man to play, he can make a shake. It's guaranteed he fold him by the end of the season. And I know you think that I ain't see it. And I know your bitch ain't got a car, don't make me go and buy your bitch a little creep. Fuck on the camera, we can call it even. Friends are like the autumn, every year they leave me. And I'ma rake them in the pile, throw them in the bag. Tie them bitches up and leave it. Cause most of the niggas are deceiving and not. Who's that? Friends, how I got enemies. Used to keep them close, now they dead to me. Money tend to show all the tendencies. Enemies, yeah, so sad. Sometimes, every time. Don't get in this camera because your head looks bad. Alright, y'all. So, we're trying to hurry up because we got to go. And I need to cut this camera off because all I got is one battery. And I'm trying to make it last. So we should be leaving the house like right now. So let me go ahead and wrap all this up. I'm gonna grab that tea in a minute. Okay, so this is what I'm getting ready to take. My MacBook, I mean my iPad because it tells me what I need to do today. The charger for my battery. Um, this is a car charger for a um, house wall. Like it has a, has a car thing on the other end and then you can like charge that. So I could, so I could put this in there to charge. I got my breakfast, my vitamins, and we got our water. So we need to be leaving the house like right now.
right y'all so i made it out the house i am in a car we supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago but i gotta set up my music we about to have a little quick little jam sesh real fast because y'all know i like my little good little music so we got to go ahead and listen to something good i gotta try and drink my yogurt and drink this tea I gotta try and drink with drink this tea while I'm driving. Eat my yogurt. You know like Oh my god, what time are we gonna get there? I gotta be there at is the class is until ten forty five, but they say come thirty minutes early. And I'm always fucking late. So I was trying to hurry up and fucking leave. Let's see what time the GPS say we're gonna get there. Damn, y'all. I said we're going to get there at 10.09. I need to be there by 10.15. So that's really cutting it close. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it up here. I'm trying to figure out my damn life. Is that my damn package? That better be my damn package. Because see, you know what? Alright, y'all. Y'all. So why... The people from the class just call me, right? And told me that my class isn't until 11.45, not 10. I wish her ass would have called me like 10 minutes ago. But you know what? I think I'm gonna just rearrange some of my plans because I needed to go to Walmart. So today's schedule was I was gonna go get me a smoothie and then like some post workout little food or whatever and then probably like an acai bowl or something like that and then I needed to go to Walmart I needed to go get some food for um I need to go get some food for um dinner tonight and then I wanted to make some chili tonight so I need to go get a little bit of stuff for the chili that I didn't have. All I need really is an onion and a fucking bell pepper. Really. So that and then I was going to go get some ground beef to make the kids some hamburger helper and probably like chicken or something. And then we needed to go to what the fuck I need to go at? I gotta look at the iPad once I stop. So I'll like confirm this whole to-do list once I stop. I'm already going to go ahead and head that way and then I'll just do whatever I need to do once I get down there in that area. Um, I got to go in Midtown. So, that's like by South Park Mall, I think. I'm still learning the area, man. I don't know where the fuck Midtown is. really just cruise and chill because I'm like a hour early like your girl is early like I don't want to be early what what do you mean by get growing up and shit but yeah so I'm gonna just really like cruise there and arm her with this damn camera man that shit heavy um yeah your girl about to be a whole hour early she told me I was like you sure it was not 10 45 she was like no we have a 10 30 class so you would have to be here by 10 and i couldn't do that one because it's already like 9 50 and it, it was already saying that i was going to arrive at like 10 10 so there's no way in hell that i would be able to make that fucking 10 30 class so i was like i just do the 11 45 so i gotta be there by 11 15. so that gives me like an hour and five minutes to kind of run some little errands and stuff. Hopefully I can find a Walmart down there so I can just go ahead and Walmart and knock that shit out and then do whatever else on that fucking list. I'm gonna have to check the list once I stop though, but. Yeah, y'all, let's get back to our jam car jam sesh. <laughs> Yeah. 
Don't play with this girl, she's not one of them. Don't play with this girl, she's not one of them. Cause I already know you don't know nothing about it. No, I can't leave you. Take exit 9C, then use the middle lane to keep left at the fork. And I hate that. Head west toward I-277 South, then continue on to Wilkinson Boulevard. In a quarter mile. Slide left toward Wilkinson Boulevard. Bruh, I don't take the wrong f***ing exit. This shit told me to take the f***ing exit. Shut up, lady. That sent me the wrong place. She won't yell at me. She done sent me the wrong place and won't yell at me and tell me where to go. No, you should have had your shit together when you been telling me where to go at from the first time. Now you not. Don't tell me what to do no more. Man, hold on, hold on, why do, why do, why do? I don't know where to go. Bruh, vlogging while driving is some dangerous ass shit. Hold me like this is the last time. Kiss me like you never see me again. Lady almost get in my damn lane. These people drive so damn crazy here, bruh. I went all my life without an accident and came here and got in a fucking accident. Bruh, these people drive so damn crazy here. Which way are you going? 2A? Okay. Let's see how confusing this shit is, y'all. That's why damn, bruh. Crazy. It's like some fucking Atlanta. And that's why I did not want to move the it was so damn confusing. I didn't know where to go or what the to do. I, I've never drove in Atlanta. Carlos always drove. I am scared. What the? Y'all, I all over this. I all over this road. all over the damn road <laughs> I don't know where the hell I going okay oh I remember this little area god look at all them people over there what the fuck is going on over there yeah I remember this little area so we're making a left right here go people go people when i tell y'all that this interstate and these damn roads is so confusing it's crazy like <sighs> bro this shit is oh a tropical cafe right next to that shit too big yes because that's why i need to go ahead after so i'm gonna pull in here even though like i don't need to be here right now but i'm gonna like put something else on my gps to see um to see what is around that i can go to um all right y'all so 
I need to drink this tea. So this tea, I don't know if it's working, but yeah. It's so nasty. Oh, I only did this much. Hold on. Ah, it's so nasty. All right, we halfway there. <sighs> Shit. This fucking camera is heavy as fuck, bro. Why is that stuff on the screen? I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what that means. That shit is so nasty. Alright. So let's see if there's a Walmart around here. Okay, they said there's a Walmart uh, eight minutes away. I don't want to get back on the interstate. Damn it, bro. I gotta get back on the interstate. Okay, if it's gonna take me eight minutes to get there, I'm gonna get there at 820. I mean 1025. Then it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to be in there. I don't know if I should leave, y'all. Because I'm always late for something. I'm really risking it if I could leave. Oh, yeah, what the is he? And then we got, I think I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to chill and talk to y'all. Eat my breakfast and things like that. So I got this Activium. You know, you got billions of live and active probiotics in it. And I'm working on trying to like get my um, immune system stronger. Because I'm having issues with my immune system with my white blood cells. Um, yeah, the white blood cells is a part of the immune system. It fights off all the like infection like when you get sick and stuff like that and I heard well doing some research I found out that that probiotics help build your immune system so that's why I have like a million vitamins inside my little vitamin thingy yikes I almost broke the fucking camera I literally just got this camera so I might still be in the return window for fucking best buy <laughs> You know, it's 14 days for um, electronics return. So I have a ton of fucking gummies and pills to take. I don't like these pieces in the front. Fingers up, let a nigga know that you don't give a fuck. Niggas swear you get money, but you really sell it up. Niggas lie for the mention in the boat, nigga. Get the money, sis. Get the money. Break a nigga ass down to his last hundred. Y'all, like, I ain't gonna lie. That little mental break I had from YouTube and. I don't have no stress about recording and uploading videos. It was nice because it was much needed. And it got to stop putting me first more often because I felt good as hell. But I did miss y'all. Like, y'all understand. Like, Leah told me this morning when I was getting ready, when I was vlogging, she was like, you're just so happy that you're vlogging again. You act like it's a newborn baby or something. <laughs> she jealous of y'all. Okay. So what's on the to-do list today? Let's find out. So, we got our fitness class at 11.45. Then after that, we're going to go get a smoothie, a green smoothie, which Tropical Cafe is like right here. I need to go to Target, Walmart, and then a seafood market and just see like, I'm, I'm trying to find a good seafood market. Like, I'm from Charleston. We got the bomb ass, fresh ass seafood. And I now bring my ass up here and the seafood here is bullshit. When I tell you bullshit, I mean, bullshit. it's nothing fresh. Nothing good, and it's not just the seafood. Seems like all the fucking food here is shitty. Like last week, we went to a Japanese restaurant where they cook in front of you and things like that. Y'all, we used to go to that shit all the time back at home, and the food was fucking hitting. The portion size was awesome. The price, it was like for hibachi chicken and shrimp, and then the um the rice, fried rice, it was like twenty three dollars or something like that. Same price here, but the fucking food quality and damn portion. And wait, and wait, hitting for. So, we was pissed. I mean, the food was good, but it wasn't as good as what we're used to. Like, we're so spoiled. It's crazy. My baby, we going back home Wednesday. And you better believe I want to get me some fucking crab. Oh my God. I want to get me some crab, some shrimp, some crawfish. I want some oysters. Oyster season. Oh my God. I want some fucking oysters. Mmm. Food just wacky. That's why I find myself eating Chick fil A all the time. Like, Chick fil A, the only thing that really be hitting. Like that place we went to the other day, when me and Carlos went out a little shit, it was okay, but it wasn't like everything. But yeah, so today's to do list is a fitness class at 11 45. Then we're going to get a smoothie. We need to do a Walmart and Target run. We need to go to the seafood market and then we're going to go back home, 
clean up a little bit, wash clothes, and I need to do some work. Y'all, we got 15 minutes before our first fitness class. Oh my gosh, like, I'm really about to do a fucking fitness class. I've never done a fitness class before. I've never been to Orange Therapy Fitness, so going to be interesting but man i can't even lie that the, the damn happy we've been catching up with me like i gotta get my life together i've been just vibing chilling eating being happy and shit and that damn happy we is catching up with me your girl gotta lose some weight because first of all my birthday is in six months yes i'm already thinking about it and the shit that i'm trying to do baby i need to be snatched like i wish i could just go get me a fucking tummy tuck real fast and be recovered by like within two days but yeah man like i gotta get my shit together i cannot be fucking weighing on 180 and shit like i can't lie like some of the girls that be weighing the weight for my height they be looking good but that shit don't look good on me like i look like i don't gain a bunch of weight like i don't be looking like cute and thick and healthy i be looking fucking fat and i just don't like that weight on me but, um, yes, I'm back on my healthy edge, so I'm probably going to start, like, meal prepping again, because that did help me. I'm back taking my vitamins, like, my green tea capsules, uh, cinnamon capsules. I'm doing probiotics. I can't remember what else is in this thing. Like, yeah, I'm taking, like, a bunch of shit that I used to take, because, like, during the pandemic, y'all know I lost a lot of weight. And, um, I kept it off for a while, but it came back. So, that means I gotta get my shit together. And I'm getting older, so like the wedding, you know, doing what it used to do when it was time to lose it, you know. So, yeah, I'm back drinking my freaking apple cider vinegar in my water with my lemon. I need to get my, um, what else I used to put in there? Um, cucumbers and mint leaves. And then I also used to put lime in it. And then that tea that I was drinking this morning, the, the flat tummy tea, like they didn't tell me to put like lemon in it, but I just want to put lemon in it. I just feel like with the hot water, the tea and the lemon, it might work faster or something. I mean, like that's just what I think. But they didn't tell me to do that. So hopefully it does fucking work. Cause I know like last time when I put the flat tummy, um, tweet on the vlog some people was commenting and saying that it was a scam but when they commented that it was a scam i had already fucking bought it so i gotta fucking drink this shit so i'm gonna see like what it do and then when we get home we're gonna step on the scale <laughs> We're gonna step on the scale when we get home. Another thing I wanted to do, um, oh, since I've been take since I've been drinking this tea, I did realize like I've been using the bathroom regularly now. Like, yeah, man, I gotta lose some weight because like like heart issues and like diabetes and like high blood pressure and shit right in my family, and I'm not trying to deal with none of that shit, man. Like, I'm trying to be the person that like break that shit. Like, I don't wanna end up getting that shit, and then my kids end up getting that shit, and their kids end up getting that shit, and just be a whole, like, generational fucking curse. So, I want to create change, and I want to, like, change my eating habits and all that shit like that, because when I was pregnant with Leah, I had gestational diabetes, and that shit was not fun. And they said, like, if you have gestational diabetes, like, you're, like, more at risk for actually getting, like, type 2 diabetes. And I'm not trying to have that shit. Like, I, when I was pregnant, I had to watch what the fuck I was eating. Imagine that shit. That shit was torture. Like, you craving all this shit. And I'm craving all kinds of sweets and shit. And I can't even fucking eat it. And I got to eat in portions. And then, like, I had to stick my finger, like, three times a fucking day. That shit was, that shit was horrible. Like, if that wasn't a fucking wake up call, then, baby... Listen, I got to get my shit together. I cannot be risking my health like that. Like, that's crazy. But I was thinking, like, I follow this page on Instagram. It's, um, something ve vegan or something like that. Hold on, I'm about to tell y'all right now. Black vegan shop. And they be putting up all kinds of stuff. Like, you can't believe what everybody's saying. Especially, like, I mean, I don't want to say that. I mean, because, I mean, they are a business. And they are trying to generate sales i'm thinking like an entrepreneur right now so it's like they're going to tell you what they want you to hear in order for you to tap in and they put their products and spend your money so i don't know what the fuck to believe that that's uh that's me overthinking again and that's one of the shit that i kind of low-key hate about myself sometimes like it's beneficial to me when i'm writing books overthinking helps me write good books but like in life like overthinking is a fucking problem for me like 
So, yeah, it's called Black Vegan Shop, and they be putting up stuff, and they be talking about how everybody got worms in their body, and everybody should detox, and blah, blah, blah. And I never, like, technically actually did, like, a colon cleanse. So, I really want to try that shit. So, like, if y'all have ever tried, like, a colon cleanse, let's talk about it in the comments, because I need to know what the fuck goes on, and I want to know what's y'all favorite, like, colon cleanse. So I don't want to just get some shit and then that shit have me all fucked up. I don't know. I want to try a fucking colon cleanse. And I also want to try CMOS. It was another company I was following on Instagram. This damn Instagram. Um, yeah. I want to try CMOS. I heard it's so fucking good for you. I want to like, I think I want to do the CMOS gel versus like the actual CMOS CMOS. Because I don't, I know me and I know that I'm probably not going to like just eat that fucking CMOS shit. If it's real like CMOS. So, I think I want to get the gel. That way I can, like, put it in drinks, put it in smoothies, you know, stuff like that. So, I can implement it into my, like, daily regimen, and my, my recipes and stuff. And they say it's good for your whole family. Like, kids can eat it and everything. But, yeah, I heard, like, that shit really, like, helps your body. And I've been talking to Carlos about it. And he was like, we need to get out of We need to get out of But I'm just so fucking scared to order this shit, like... Yeah, I go on with my overthinking again. But yeah, y'all. So it is 11 or 7. And we got been here at 11 15. So I'm about to just go ahead and start gathering my life. I know y'all don't see me on a damn healthy wave like 17 million times since I started fucking YouTube. But no, for real. I'm serious this time. For real, for real. I did my edges this morning because I know I was just going to sweat it out. But now it just looks fucking busy. Alright, y'all. So I know I said I was going to go in here in a minute. Okay, but I'm about right, to go ahead and go in here because I need to use the bathroom. The last thing I want to do is be inside this damn fitness class and having to fucking pee. And I got this big ass thing of water. Okay, what was just on the road? Hello. Yes. Hey, nice to meet you. So, no, likewise, did I talk to you this morning? Yes. Okay, nice to, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm new to this, so is this going to be like a, a beginner thing? or? So, it is a, what you're taking is a strength 50 class, so it's going to be weight floor focused. Um, and um, I'm going to take you in to meet Coach Courtney in advance so that you can go ahead and... Hi. You're good. I will be Okay. This is cute. They got a low area. We need to do this. Okay, in and out, okay, as you bring the dumbbell to the chest. Yo, I'm fucking scared. Like, do y'all hear that shit right now? That shit is intimidating. I don't know what the hell I didn't sign up for. Fuck. Bro, I'm scared. I'm gonna ask her if I can vlog, and I'm too shit. Okay, so the first two minutes, I will be trying to do 30 minutes. That's okay. Okay, so she was saying that I might can't record. So if I can't, I will just see you guys after the class, okay? So if you can't, because I do want to share this experience with y'all, but if I can't, then I'll have to see you after the class. So stay tuned. left out of that class and I had to leave early because first of all who the hell told me to go into people's establishment doing good and damn well I am not athletic and I work out in goddamn three months six months I don't fucking know and I ain't here damn lifting weights jumping up and down and all kind of crazy shit I gotta go this is too much this this is just too much and then she was like you can do it at your own pace and i'm just like girl i need to be like weaned into this shit and not just like that is that shit is for fucking bros i'm not no goddamn pro but yeah they been playing some good music i ain't even gonna lie to you they was playing um back that ass out juvenile they was playing megan they was playing um what a song the old song Whistle while you twerk. They've been playing that. They've been playing all kind of booty shaking songs. I was like, what the fuck? That was that that was crazy. And then it was like I I I, I don't fucking know. Ain't nobody tell me going to people's place. 
I had to go. I had to leave. I had to tell him, like, I'll come back for, like, a treadmill and, like, rowing or something. Like, I got to be, like, worked into this shit. I can't just be in here. My fucking legs hurt so bad. My fucking arms feel like noodles. And I don't know why I even did that. I should have gone to the gym at my house instead of trying to be grown. I felt like a rookie in them. I meant to take a picture of the screen of how much I already had day. But I, um, forgot. Because she walked me out to the desk and was telling the lady that booked me for a different kind of class. Because that's what I thought I was booking, honestly. I didn't know what the fuck I booked. And I got here and got slapped in the damn face with them damn strengthening shit. But the trainer was nice. I like the whole vibe. I like the orange colors. I like the music. I like the area. I like how small it is. It's just that that's not for me like i've never done a fitness class before and i don't think i really like it i don't i don't want to say i don't like it because it could be just because like it was that type of fitness class and i haven't worked out in a long time so i don't want to say that i don't like it i want to try the other thing and then see if i like that but i'm about to go in tropical cafe but i gotta let my legs Right there now. My man is texting me, checking up on me. Yeah, cause he didn't see me all day. Cause I left the house early, but I ain't wake him up or nothing. Cause he just had to get home. He just had to get off of work like an hour ago. Why this motherfucker is blurry? We ain't finna do that. I love Tropical Cafe, man. I had tried um, Smoothie King one time, and it was just not Tropical Cafe. So I don't like the hell with them people, and I ain't going back. And I had to take my journey, too, so I had to spend a bunch of money, and it been whack. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Fresh off the press, baby. And Midtown. Come see them girl in Tropical Cafe. Cause sets on the smoothie, snap. Sets on the fucking quesadilla, snap. Man, I've been a fitness class and I ain't know what the fuck I done book. I done book a fucking sprinting and shit with, with weights and all kind of shit calls. I've been dying in there. I left early. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's crazy, bro. Bro, I ain't know why I book, man. I. Mm. I, <laughs> Kiss my ass. I love you, man. God damn. Alright, y'all. 
So we at Walmart. We about to go get some shit that we need. <laughs> I should be spending less than I'm not really buying it's Carl's. So but I got a budget though. I wanna spend less than fifty bucks a year. I want a sweet onion, green bell pepper, and oh, it's over here. So I'm gonna get after a little bell pepper. I don't like coming here for like vegetables and fruits and stuff. I'm a pretty one. Maybe like this one, maybe? and this one be 72 cents. But that's the keys. I'm gonna get the biggest fucking one I can get. That look good. That one look old. These ones are ugly. Where? Ew, look at that. $1.24 a pound. We're gonna get us a small little onion. We don't need too much. Forget my bag. Alright, y'all. Let me go get some strawberries. Damn, this line on the bitch. Look at this shit. Wrap. Oh, boy. Let's see what we can get. Like, y'all need to get this shit together. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get my turn though. Pizza tonight. Well, y'all look. I ain't no real loss. I had no honey butter biscuits. What? I may eat that with my chili tonight. Alright, I'm gonna get it. Daddy, I got your ranch chicken. I'm supposed to ask supposed to pull some ranch chicken because if you want Until that fucking sun get on that leather and that leather get on your ass. <laughs> that shit burn my fucking back up. Yeah, I'm about to go home because I'm about to just go home because it don't make no sense to go to the, the um, seafood market today because they might not even have anything that I actually want anyway. Knowing these places here. But um, yeah, I'm about to just go ahead and go home. It's 2 o'clock and I'm out all day. My man missed me. I miss my man. I miss my chair. And um, yeah, and colors gotta go to work tonight, so I gotta get home. I'll be happy for you when you find the bad on the weekend. Don't be still good. Spotlight, age, age, 50,000 fans put it in a way. You were my superstar, yeah. See, women change every day, so that means that you have to learn her every day. You know, like, like going back, back to college, college, man. Let me show you what I've learned about my wife. She got the cutest little laugh. Follow them the teachers when she's mad. Her favorite food is fish and corn. I treat her like college. I'm trying to get knowledge. Learning your girl is a science. That's one of my favorite Life Jenna songs, man. That song just hit me fucking so deep, like he, like he hit every fucking time. And it's an old ass song, like y'all. 
Y'all ain't fucking feeling me. Y'all ain't feeling me right now. Like, ugh. but anyways, my battery about to die, so I'll just see y'all when I get home. It's time to test myself. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, I am home. And I had to walk up the fucking stairs, and my fucking legs are stomping. But, um, yeah, I'm at home. I already got all the stuff from Walmart. I get this for the kids. I'm gonna cook this tonight for them. And then I got the rest of my stuff for my chili that I'm gonna make tonight. So I got my onion, I got my bell pepper, and some green onions. I'm gonna put on the top of that. I also got some cheese for it. And I got these honey butter biscuits. I've never tasted red lobster honey butter biscuits, so we're gonna try this and see where you're going for. If it's a head or mess. And then I got my one of my favorite popcorns. This is a healthier one. So I like to eat that. You know, I just did my little workout. I gotta eat healthy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your girls did a workout. And then I got some scrubberies. Because I'm gonna make me a frosé tonight. Or probably tomorrow. I'm make me a frosé. And I need some scrubberies, so I got that. But yeah. Oh. And then I got Carlos a bunch of these. He used to drink these like way, way back when we first started talking. But like lately, like recently, yeah, I got one and now he back on it. These Burst Lemon, Burst got him a chokehold right now. So yeah, he got all of these. He done drink one. I don't know if y'all can see it on the counter back there. But he done drink one. So yeah, I can get him five of them. He tell me to get five. I don't drink them thing no more. They done. But yeah, my battery is still about to go dead. So I'm just going to put that on the charger while I gather myself. I need to go wash. I sweaty. I, ugh, so uncomfortable. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash up. Scraping up a little bit. Handle the rest of these little dishes. And I'm going to start making my chili. And when I start making my chili, then I'll be back. What you're not going to do is bully me. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, y'all, so your girl is clean and well rested because I ended up taking a fucking nap and I was sleeping for like how many hours? Like, probably like six hours, seven. Hell no. I was not sleeping for six hours. I was sleeping for like, I probably went to sleep at like four ish and I woke up at like seven, maybe. So I had like a little three hour nap, but I was not trying to sleep that long. Man. I was so tired. That damn class just burned me out. <clears throat> but yeah, we about to make this chili. At first I thought I didn't have all the stuff and I wasn't gonna be able to make it tonight, but I think I do got all the stuff. We need an onion, got that. We need garlic, minced. It say cloves, but I got the minced garlic right here. Got that. Chili powder. Got that. Cumin or cumin or whatever the fuck this is how you pronounce that. Got that. Green bell pepper. Got that. 14 and a half ounce crushed tomatoes. Got that. And then this one is a fire roasted diced tomatoes. I don't know which one I want to use. The fire roasted sound like it's going to give it like a different kind of taste. But I don't want to fuck with that and then it be nasty. We got kidney beans. We got diced tomatoes. Beef broth. We got beef broth. Beef broth. We got tomato puree instead of tomato paste. We do got brown sugar. Oh, almost waste all the powdered sugar, Lee. Oh, that would have been bad. Very much so. You crusty, messy, dressy, and you dusty. <laughs> Girl, go ahead. Go change your shoes. What are those? Mm. All right. Now that's stuck in my head. Got brown sugar. I almost died trying to find that shit, but we got that. Oh, let me get a charger. All right. Please. And then y'all know we about to try these um biscuits, these red, red lobster biscuits. I don't know who still eat that red lobster besides my damn mama. Red lobster just saying what it used to be. Mom! You hungry? What do you say? He said yeah. Well, he on the game, but when it's the weekend, we don't see him. I mean, we don't see him throughout the week either, really. But when it's the weekend, we really don't see him. He just yell from his room, or we gotta text him, or FaceTime him, or something like that. 
because he only gets the game on weekends and he be taking advantage of that shit. About to cook this pizza for the kids before I even start making my honey butter biscuit and get into the groove of making my chili. But I've never done this before, so I'm fucking scared. <laughs> I don't want to ruin this damn food. Look at the damn sugar. Yeah. All right, I'm still about to get ready to make this chili. Have they starting to look a lot like chili? You see, you see it there? You see it there? I got it here smelling real chili-ish. Yes, and it's looking like chili, and it's just, oh, I can't wait to taste it. Lee, I made chili. Okay, so I just finished cook, cooking the kids pizza, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside the oven. This chili said simmer for like 45 minutes, I think. This is the honey butter seasoning. They give me two. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until lightly brown. Melt butter in a microwave safe bowl. Add honey butter seasoning packet and stir it until blend. Okay, easy enough. I can handle that. Okay y'all, so I like to clean up as I go. Like I don't like to wait until my food is finished in order for me to clean up. Cause by the time the food finish, it's just be ready to eat. So you gotta clean up while you're cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up. I just got a little bit of stuff like this stuff right here. I didn't use all of it because I didn't have two pounds of ground beef that the recipe called for. So I just used half of stuff. I gotta find something to do with these. And then I just gotta clean this mess up. And then this. And then, uh oh. The seasonings and stuff over there. So, let's get to it. to taste test this chili. I'ma still let it simmer, but, and I turned the heat down, but um, it's looking good. I think I'm actually gonna cut it off. That was so fast. Like, it really does look good, and I'm gonna. That motherfucker is hot. But what I need to do is add a little bit more stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, a little bit more chili pep, chili powder. I'm about to go crazy with the chili powder so it can give it that, you know, a little uh that it needs. We're gonna let these spices work its way in. And then I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. And we got eight more minutes on our uh, biscuits. So I'm gonna let this just simmer on until our biscuits are finished. And I'm about to go ahead and start making the butter. Um. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so I'm feeling like a little adult beverage. So I'm going to make me a tequila sunrise on the rocks. And this is my tequila sunrise, you guys. Simple. About to eat this food. Mmm. Mmm. Need a little bit more honey. Yeah. So these shit remind me. These fucking biscuits. These shit remind me of church's biscuits. Y'all know what church's chicken is? Yeah, it reminds me of church's ch chicken biscuits. Mm. 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 I really did snap on this fucking chili. Mm. 